Hello guys, welcome back. I am Yusuf Shakil and you are watching CSS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn different ways to use CSS in our project. So let's get started. All right, now we'll create a new project folder on our desktop and we'll name it CSS-project. Now to write CSS and HTML, you can use text editors like Sublime Text, Notepad++, Brackets.io, Atom, etc. Or you can use IDE like NetBeans or Eclipse. In this tutorial series, I'll be using Brackets. So let me go ahead and open Brackets. All right. Brackets is an open source software and you can download it from brackets.io. I'll give the link in the description. So feel free to check that out. All right, then we'll open this CSS test project folder in brackets. And now we'll create a new file index.html. And we'll write the following HTML code inside index.html file. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag. We have the opening and closing head tag. We have set the title to index page and inside the body tag we have a heading tag h1 which is set to introduction then we have three paragraphs this is a sample paragraph the second paragraph the last para now inside the css dash project folder create a new folder and name it css inside this folder we are going to keep our css files all right now there are three ways to style an HTML page, we have an inline style, an embedded style, and an external style. All right, let's talk about the inline style. In this method, we use the style attribute in the opening tag of the HTML element. So let's say, for example, we want to set the color of this H1 element red. So let me go ahead and open the live preview. All right, so we have the index page and the content of this index page. So let's say we want to change the color of this header H1 to red. So using inline style, we will create the style attribute inside the opening H1 tag and we'll set the color property to red. And now we have the header in red color. This is inline style. Now let's talk about the embedded style. In this method, the style that we want to apply to this page, we group those styles together in the head. So let's say we want to change the font size of all the paragraphs to let's say 24 pixels. So using embedded style, Inside the head tag, we'll create the style tag and we'll set the paragraph font size to 24 pixels. And now all the paragraphs inside this page will have font size set to 24 pixels. This is embedded style. Now let's talk about the external style. In this method, we create a CSS file, a style sheet file, and we write all our style rules in that file. And once we are done, we include that CSS file in our HTML file. And the rules that we have written in that CSS file is then applied to the HTML file. So for example, let's say we want to change the color of all the paragraphs to blue using external style. So in this case, inside the CSS folder, let us go ahead and create a new file and save it as default.css. And inside default.css, we are going to define a rule for the paragraph and we'll set the color to blue. And now we'll go back to index.html page 
and inside the head we will include this default.css file so we will write link rel style sheet href equal to css slash default dot css so we have included the default dot css file which is inside the css folder and now you can see the output all the paragraphs are now having blue color this is external style all right let's do a quick recap so there are three ways to style our html page we have the inline style we have the embedded style and we have the external style let's talk about inline style in this method we create a style attribute in the opening tag of the html element in this case we want to set the color of the h1 element to red so we have created the style attribute in the opening tag and we have set color to red so the pros of this inline style is that it is easy to set but the con of this style is it is hard to maintain let's say for example our html page has 100 h1 element and we want to style all the header h1 element and we want to set their color to red so if we are using inline style then we have to write the style attribute in all the h1 elements and we have to set the color to red and let's say after a few days we want to change the color of all the h1 element to let's say blue from red then we have to change all the style attribute value to color colon blue for all the hundred elements so this is a long process and this is the downside of inline styling next is the embedded style in this method we group the style inside the head using the style tag so in this case we want to change the font size of all the paragraphs to 24 pixels so using the embedded style we have defined this rule for the paragraph and we have set the font size to 24 pixels so this rule is applied to all the paragraphs in this page so the plus point of embedded style is that it is better than the inline style that is we don't have to use the style attribute in all the paragraphs all we have to do is define the rule in the head and that rule is applied to all the paragraphs in that page and the downside of this method is the rule that we create in this page using embedded style is not applied to other pages so if you have multiple pages then the other pages will not have paragraph set to font size 24 pixels we have to manually copy all the rules that we have in this page to the other pages and finally we have the external style in this method we create a style sheet and inside that .css file on the style sheet we write our style rules and then inside the html file we include that style sheet and all the rules that we have in that style sheet is then applied to that file or to that page so the plus point of this external style method is that we have to write our style once and we can apply that style to multiple pages but there is a downside and the downside is if the external style sheet fails to load then all the pages will lose their style all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com the link will be in the description and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series i'll put them in my github repository 
The link will be in the description, so please check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.